Hi, this is an after nap video. So it's an excuse me, extension of the one I started making earlier, which was a flip-flop. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm going to continue on making um, tags. Like I was making this one when I was um, almost sleeping beauty into a sleep and I um, <clears throat> excuse me and I um, okay I was just checking my autofocus and so I I just stitched around the edge right here now I'm going to stitch real quickly yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with me these last little bit. Little bit. Leave the door shut. Thank you. I'm, I'm okay. I'm reaching over here and I'm stitching around this tag now. I'm going to give it a little stitch. I like the look of a stitch around, around the tag. And it is actually stitching really nice, even though it that heavy cardboard from the packaging that was on the on the cutter on the paper trimmer. It makes a heavy tag, but using a heavy needle in my sewing machine, it um still it sews just fine. So um I am so there, now I just stitched around this one, and it changes the whole look, I think. It gives it such a, a better, just a more finished look with that stitching. Okay, and then I'm going to stitch this one. Whoopsie, you got to put the thing under there and use a bit before you step on the foot for me. Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to stitch this one. Don't leave, I'm not going to stitch the whole time. I stitch as I'm smelling beef stew in the kitchen that I have nothing to do with. I'm telling you, my daughter-in-law is going to have us so spoiled. And she is amazing. She's an amazing cook. So, she's an amazing person. Oh my gosh. I hadn't met her in person before she came here. And oh, am I ever blessed. I am so blessed with having her for a daughter. Okay, now. Now I just stitched around this one. So now that one is stitched around the perimeter of that tag. Now I probably will now I have got I've got in my last happy meal from Diane I have got some of the most wonderful wonderful words and things she sent me enough things to keep me busy from now until the third Tuesday of the 13 month, 13th month. But oh my gosh, how beautiful things. How we are different <laughs> friends. We've been through a lot must and must have, well, <laughs> friends, we've been through a lot, and most of it was your fault. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are awesome. These are so awesome. Okay. Um, I think here I'm going to put remember, because this is the, the golden staircase, and it's in Venice somewhere. So I'm going to just put the word remember right there. Somebody might remember that. And so 
Yes, I had a very good nap. I feel so much better. Boy, when I, I get this real tiredness sometimes that I can't even fake it like I'm not tired. I just have to, I have to go lay down. Okay, so now what I want to do is, wait a minute, I know in this box, there, oh, here they are. I got the box to my left of where I got so many beautiful things from from Diane. Oh my gosh, did she ever send me a lot? And, and look at that IKEA. I'm just I'm just blown away by IKEA Ziploc bags. I feel like I'm hot to Molly having IKEA Ziploc bags. Usually I have um, the brand I usually have is um, um, Great Value, you know, from Walmart. So I feel like a hot to Molly. But this bag here is full of nothing but fabric scraps. I think they're all a very averaging the same size. So I think what I want to do is just take this one. I'm going to scrunch it up so it'll fit in this hole that I punched. And then I'll pull it through that hole. And, and then once I pull it through that hole, I'm just going to pull it up here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to staple it. And then there. I have my pull tab for my tag. So I would call that finished. I love it. Now these tags, I am working on junk journal kits. They're going to be a kit that you can, you can build your own junk journal out of. And, but there's going to be some unfinished tags in it, but there's also going to be finished tags. So, and there's going to be pockets, some that are finished and decorated, some that are not. There's going to be pages that some of them will be decorated and some of them not. So you will be able to take those pieces and make your own, put your own touches on these items and I think I think you're going to like them I'm and I'm doing this for those who are new at junk journaling I have had um, I have had a few uh, messages and, and inquiries about you know I I don't have junk what you know can you make a list or whatever, you know, just, you know, because they don't, they feel they do not have junk. They don't get junk mail and, and that kind of thing. And so these kits that are making, I'm hoping will be helpful to, to those. And, and even if you are an experienced junk journaly junk journaler. Let me check. Even if you are experienced at junk journaling, sometimes having somebody else's junk to mix with your junk um, is awesome. Now I have found because I get Happy Meal in the mailbox that is sent to me by other subscribers and um, and a lot of my Happy Meal is just an assortment of junk and not that it's junk as far as you know well, yeah we call it junk we know what we're talking about when we say junk and um, and 
and then uh, it, it's always amazing because somebody else's junk is different than mine and so then I have this load like right now I'm going through well there's not much what I would call junk in this box from Diane but um, her things that she said she had just hanging around her house forever are different than the things I have just hanging around my house. And so, excuse me for that nose noise. And, and so, yeah, having somebody else's to mix in with your own, it makes, it's amazing. It's just amazing. That's what it is. And so, okay, so I have those three. I would call, oh, no, I didn't. This one's got a little verse on it. This one, I would say, needs a word. I always feel a word or a message of some kind on the tags are, um, make it, you know, they that finishes them. So I'm looking here, just thinking of you. And that guy looks like he's thinking too, doesn't he? So I'm going to just put that right there. And so then now they're in that corner of that tag is thinking of you. And so then that kind of, I feel like it finishes the tag. So now I want to make another, I'm going to tear another. This time I'm going to tear it right. Okay. Oh, wow. I was just reading the, <laughs> reading the words of this here song. It says, let them, sto them stories about the way I lost to my bloomers, rumors. <laughs> that was in um, Oklahoma, the play, Oklahoma musical. So those of you who have watched Oklahoma probably have heard that. See, so I just laid that on top of there so I get the size that I want and I um, I'm tearing the the paper I'm trying to tear it and it's doing pretty good. There. Now I have that music still says lost my bloomers rumors um, cut that just a little straighter here and here. And then I'm going to glue this whole thing over the top of that tag. And so now you really do not have to have, you do not have to have all of the, that fanciness, you know, to um, to make a tag or an envelope or a page or the whole junk journal. You just do not have to go buy anything from the store. Packaging, you know, you use that packaging that you got from things that you purchased. Use it up. Use that packaging because that packaging is, it's valuable. It's very valuable. And um, it's very valuable. These are the corners I cut off of the um, the tops after I cut the packaging. Then I cut those triangle corners off. Now I'm going to put a couple of them down here. And I'm, cut, I'm putting them on where the actual print from the package is on there. The actual print from the package is there. And I, I like that. Um, let's see. I want to ink it. Yeah, I could have inked it first, but I've got lately where I use my wild honey. It's kind of an orange color to do my inking and 
I like that. I like that color. And you see what I use. I use a brush. This is actually a brush that you would use. You can buy a handle for this too. But I just buy the brushes. And um, I do have them listed on my favorite things from Amazon. But if you look below the video. But I love these. These are like a it's like a sponge and then a brush. And I just love how it puts the color on. It puts the color on the edge without having any streaks or anything. It just goes on so nice. And so now I'm going to take two pieces instead of putting a instead of putting a um, hole in this one. I'm just going to put. Let's put two pieces of of that fabric scrap right there to make those pull tabs. And I like that. I'm going to pull and go up here and kind of just pull some of the threads off to make it a little bit more shabby. I love the shabby look. And then I'm going to take this little piece of paper that has got it's out of a magazine and I'm going to just kind of fussy cut around a couple of the flowers and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right down there see you don't have to plan a lot just stick them together if you're making tags and envelopes you're decorating just don't worry so much about about you know how you're going to decorate what you're going to decorate it with and all them things and if you've got stickers and stickers wow you can buy stickers from from the um dollar tree and get so many dollars i mean so many stickers for a dollar different different things beautiful things and then when you're when you're putting something together like this, it doesn't have to all match. In fact, if you have things here that don't now somebody might say, okay, I gotta put that flower, so I need botanical something. And but you don't. So you don't. You don't nothing has to match. Because if you have something that doesn't match, it really holds your eye longer in my opinion, than something that does match. It holds your eye longer for you to look and see those things. Now, let me see. I'm digging in my box. Oh, gosh, here is more. These are so much. Fun. Oh, these are, these are um, rub-ons. Okay, so let me try a rub on. Let me try these. I don't ever have real good love, luck with a cover. I'm going to put, okay, I want to see these are all rub ons. So I'm going to put best friends. Oh, it just does fit too. And I'm going to, hopefully, I get this on here because what I'm supposed to do is to take this popsicle stick a plastic one too so that's neat and I'm going to rub it on and so I'm hoping that that is going to make that stick right to of course you can't see me because I don't have this thing in frame but um this friends now hopefully this works we'll see how good I am at this because I don't always have a lot of good luck doing something like this. Oh, wait. I think I'm having luck. Well, the look of the Irish. Wait, wait. i got to fix that app. No. There we go. It, a couple little spots stayed on there, but that's okay. Um, so now I'll put that back in here. This is fun. This is fun. Again, I thank you, Diane. Oh my gosh, this stuff. 
I've got her box. She sent me such a, like I said, it was the size of a microwave box. And I um, have it right there to my, now, look at there, I have best friends, it says. And that was with that um, rub on. I covered this tag, which was um, packaging. I, I, okay, I had the tag, it was packaging. I um, tore a piece of music paper to fit the um, side of the packaging that had the print on it, which wouldn't be necessary, but I just did. Then here is this flower comes out of a magazine. These two corners were just corners I cut off from up at the top of the of of the tag. Then there's a sticker. Best friends is a rub on. I did some inking around here. And I might still go around with the sewing machine. I won't do that right now. And here at the top I just stapled on a couple pieces of fabric to put for the pull. Now that goes in my collection. It will end up going in to one of my kits. And sometimes I get like I'm I have to shut my door with my cane. Um, sometimes I get like I want to do things, but what do I want to do? So what do I want to do? I want to just anything, just anything. And so, and I don't need any tags right now, but I make tags just so I have tags ready to go. But right now I'm in the process of making kits. And I've got like 25 kits, I think, 26 kits going. So I've got different papers, different tags, envelopes, things that will go in. And then I'm going to also, in each kit, we'll have a smaller bag that will have just some embellishments like brads and buttons and bows, whatever I can find to go in them. A little bit. I've got my daughter's dog here. She, if I shut the door, she has to go there and open it because you can't see if her mom's here. And so there, this is kind of like a map here. I just put that piece of that book page there. And I think I would like to have a little bit of music, so I'll go here. And um, I'll just tear off some of that music. And then I will get my ink, and I'm going to ink around that little piece of music. And there she goes, opens the door again. If I shut the door where she can't open it, then she's going to bark. And she's a Jack Russell, so I don't know if anybody you know, know about Jack Russell barking, but oh, you do not want to hear it. She's a barker. Okay, so then I will put, I'm going to just put that right here. It doesn't matter where I put it. It doesn't matter. Just stick it somewhere. And so, that's beautiful. And now I'll take, I'm going to take another couple pieces of this. See how that piece has got some string on there? I'm going to put... This right here, it's got some threads on there that don't belong on there. So I'm going to leave them there because now they do belong on there. And I'm going to put that there. I could put a flower on there or something. I do have a little container of flowers somewhere. I can still go back later and put a flower on there. But see, if you don't need much. You don't need much. Maybe I want these flowers right here. Maybe I'll put, see, these are the rest of the flowers from that piece off of the magazine page. And so I'm using, you know, just like when you're use, making clusters, you don't, you don't need to have anything matching or nothing has to match. And here we go. Look, 
there. I'll just put them flowers on there. So now you actually, the only thing you see from the from the original tag is here and here, which I'll, um, where you can see the actual tag. Whoops. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink right along there. And then that, just that inking for some reason, that little bit of aging on there gives it something that it needs and so there we go now that's that's that tag the pull the journaling space is on the back there is now room for one kind of a let's see hmm. let's see Look, here it says, this is a little tab that says, how we are the same. And here's one that says, how we are different. That's pretty good. How we are the same, how we are different. And that makes, that now if, if somebody wanted to make that a shorter tag, you could cut that shorter and it'd still be beautiful. And so, let's see, what else do I have here for tag? Now here, here I have a piece of paper that I cut again, like a tag, just your stripe wraps. And um, let's see, since I am, oh, let's see what this is. This is another Ikea bag. Only You only put really good things in Ikea bags because in my Ikea bags, holy guacamole. I have big old letter E. It's a little bit too big for that. There's a R. Look at these huge letters. Let's see. There's a number four. I wonder if that number four. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm going to do on here. See? I like the number four. Numbers are fun. Letters are fun. They're all fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Uh, now, another thing now. See? This is I like a die cut number four. That's a die cut that Debbie, that Diane had sent me. Okay, you may not have die cuts of something. But now when you're getting your junk mail, a lot of times they'll write, um, your junk mail will say, well, they have this here, these tires you can buy for, for $25. Well, then you got a number two and a five. And cut them out and save them because you know, never know. You might want that number 25 for something. And so save them, save them because, you know, and, um, and then too, if you have just one shoe box that you put all these saved things in, then you sit down with that shoe box and you have all of these things in there, all of these beautiful things. And, um, and then just start, start tearing them apart. Just tear them apart. I mean, this, this is just music sheet. Just total music sheet. And um, I think I want to put that up here. And scrap. Throw them in that box. And if you've got a shoe box full of odds and ends that you've been um, saving over time, then you've got enough. You got a bottle of glue. You're good. Um, just if if you don't have fabric scraps like this, look through your closet and see if there's something you need to get rid of because you've had it for ten years and you haven't wore it in nine. You know, take that and start cutting pieces off of it. You've got then fabric. So. 
and and you can't beat that and you're not spending money you just have what you need and yeah you got what you need and so and then when you're doing like these are scraps of you know of other that one on that way um you know other pro projects that I've made and then I keep the scraps I've got a bucket actually I throw all these scraps in and then my number four oh, oh there it is and I just start looking through that bucket and after a while you know I haven't looked in the bucket for a while and I look in there and I said oh this is cool and I'll just start an envelope and decorate an envelope see there's just the number four it's the number four you know I like four-year-olds when they go to bed um, and so here I'm going to just put these two pieces of fabric here and I'm going to Staple them on there, and see, I could have put this one little piece of something right on top of that. I can still do it. See, there we go. And then maybe I want to take a chunk of these oranges that I cut off of the orange tags. Maybe I'll put them down there. Sure. Do they match? No. They don't match in size, but that doesn't matter if they match in size or not. Okay. There we go. Now see? Now I could maybe even you know more things. You could put you can add even things to the top. Um but this is okay. Let's see. What do I want? Or maybe I want to ink the edges of that too. Now see that ink doesn't show up a whole lot, but it does a little bit. So enough to where I know I inked it. Another thing is to take the edge, and you know, because this is kind of heavy, you can distress the edge with the edge of your scissor like this and just kind of run the edge of the scissor and that kind of just kind of just grunges it up a little bit so I'm just grunging up the actual there you go you see looks makes it kind of look like sandpaper And that's good. For those of you last night that were looking to find me on on um, for our our um, oh god, no, it's because of it for our ATCs. I was oh, I did not feel good last night. I just did not feel good. And I, I laid down and then I said, oh, I need to get up and put up a message on the group to let them know I'm not going to be here. But I didn't even have enough energy about me to even get up and do that. So it, so that didn't happen. And um, so please excuse me for that. Tomorrow morning, I'm behind in going to my doctor and for my blood work that is supposed to be done every month. And um, so tomorrow for sure I'm going to go and get my blood work done. I told my husband if I don't do anything else, let's go get this blood work done. Make, just to make sure. I'm sure everything is fine, but but just, you know, just to make sure that there's nothing wrong. Because I'm supposed to go get my 
PTI and R done monthly, and it's been six months, so. So, yeah, I gotta go get that done. I don't take care of myself as much as I should. And so, as much as I should. So, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. If I don't do anything else, I'm doing that tomorrow. Just to be sure, because I've been extra tired lately. I might be low in iron or something, you know. There's different things that make you tired. But then again, like I was telling my son, I said, you know, there's been, I've been so excited um, these last couple of months knowing they were coming. And, um, and now they're here. And so it's almost like a, it's almost like a, um, the relief that they're really here, it might just even have something to do with me just feeling washed out or something. I, I don't know. And not in a bad way either. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that they're here. We have had, since they've been here, we had the other night, I think it was Sunday night, we had that game night. Well, they did. The kids did. So there was like 12 sitting around my table playing this game. But I w chose to be the babysitter because there was three children. And I had looked at some of the cards because they were playing Cards Against Humanity or something like that. And I read some of the cards and I said, Oh my gosh, no, I can't do this. I cannot play this game. But apparently they played it and they laughed and they had a good time. And um, I said, that's for you young people. Half of them words, I do not know what they mean. <gasps> Speaking of words that I don't know what means. Oh, my gosh. I have used a word. There's a word I have used. Um, there's a word that I have used a lot. Not knowing what this word means. But I am always the last one on the bus. I tell you. I have called things, things that are like my favorite things, like what I had said, and it was yesterday, I think I said, I had my placemats all around the table, and I love placemats, so I have different placemats, I have always a collection of different placemats, and my granddaughter said something about the pretty placemats, she goes, you got the prettiest one at your spot. And I said, yeah, I've got this placemat fetish. And she says, you have a what? And I said it again. She goes, no, you don't, Grandma. I said, but I love, I love placemats. She goes, that's not where you would use that word. And I said, um, well, um, I said, well, well, then they looked it up in the dictionary and read me the read me the the um, description of the word fetish has nothing to to do with the love of placemats. I said I've always thought that it just meant that it was something that you really liked that you really liked to collect or or something. And they said, no, 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 no. It's not what it means. And I will not say that word again. I am so done ever saying that word that, um, oh, my gosh. I couldn't believe I've been saying that word all this time, thinking it just meant, meant something like a favorite. Like, um, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm done with that word. I went, Holy moly. Yeah. So if you all use that word, don't use that word. That means something really funny. That means something. Very... Look, I just keep putting stuff on there. So I put a little edge on there. I put here, it says shopping. You deserve it. And here's an S just for, I don't know, silly. And um, then the fabric tabs up there at the top. A number four for no reason, just four. Just four. But look at what kind of a tag that makes. 
I think it makes a very pretty tag. I like that. So that's another tag that is going to go in into a grouping of my um, tags that are going to go to into the um, yeah into those into the into the journal packets journal packets absolutely positively that's where they're going to be and so, see, and instead of covering the whole entire piece with with um with music i'm just going to cover a little bit just a little bit just a little bit will do <laughs> shenanigans let's see we will go ahead and ink that but yeah that was a new thing but there's a lot of things I've learned late in life because hey I was raised under a cabbage leaf y'all might not know that but I didn't even know that I do now how come I didn't know this stuff my word, I didn't know this stuff. So, I didn't know this stuff. It's kind of embarrassing in a way. So, yeah, I threw that game. I don't know if anybody of you ever have heard of that game. What, was it, what did I say it was? It was, um, it was, um, the cards against humanity or something like that. And then afterward, after, you know, the box was still sitting on the table. So I opened that box up. I was eating lunch and the box was still there. And I, so I kind of opened the box and just kind of read some of the cards. And then I stuffed them cards quickly back inside that box. I said, holy smokes, I couldn't play that game because I, there's no way I could say them words. I couldn't say them words. Heck, nobody. I could not say them words. So, they are not, they don't come off my lips. But they did. But they're all new age or something. Uh, they're all over, for, they're all over 21. They're all over 31. Yeah, they're all over, oh, no, 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 Bianca's less. She's 26. But, um. But yeah, it that was amazing. That it's amazing that my scissors aren't here. Okay, let me see, because I'm putting too much stuff up on the table. I'm gonna put that down. The scissors are still not oh no, not that one's not oh here there. Since now I want to cut the edge. Actually I could just fold that edge over. I could just fold that over and let it be on the back. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just fold it over and let it be on the back. I could have decorate the other side of this tag if I choose so to do so. And, um, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Macaronis, yep, the macaronis. We can do that if we want to. We can do anything. We want to. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's see. What else is up here? I have so much in this box. It is like 15 Christmases all together. Um, these are nice. Oh, these are nice. I'm going to be having so much fun making. Deco I've got envelopes already made that I can decorate. And I love the word serenity. So I'm going to put serenity right here. The word serenity is going to live 
right there. And then I'm going to give myself a couple of pieces of fabric here. And then also this little piece of of decoration that I cut off of something else and then I'm going to staple it on and you know that's all it needs it doesn't need any more than that oh unless I do a little bit of inking around that yellow the rest of it doesn't need inking but just maybe just around the yellow a little bit and it just gives it a little bit of something and then there's a tag and that's pretty that's pretty you know what I think I'm gonna do across this I'm going to just go across this with a little piece of washi tape that washi tape that was right there and I'm just going to Cut it off on the edge. This little piece here, let's go put it down on the number two and mash that down. And then that finishes that tag. And so then that tag is pretty, and then just all this journaling space on the back. And so so that's it. I wanted to just let you all know that I had a nap and I feel much better after the nap. I'm gonna continue making tags now how to do a live stream and just make tags and talk to you all some more I miss you guys I don't know maybe I'll do a live stream tonight you know what I am what I'm doing right now is I'm thinking because I make so much noise when I'm doing a live stream I, I'm a little bit about worry about making too much noise for um my company well they're not company they're family they're here for a while so I have to quit calling them company I got these inked I'm going to finish those up too by putting decorating them I love to decorate them I've got a lot of them decorated that are going to go into if I have them right here I can show you um, no, I have them right here Oh gosh, I gotta get these. I want to use these butterflies that I got from Shirley. I love these. Oh, I'm gonna make a copy of them before I actually do them. Oh, these ones I didn't have to copy those. Yeah, Shirley sent me these. Oh my gosh, all the way from Australia. And look at that. Look at this one. This one could use a rose. Could that one use a rose? Heck yeah, buddy. Now, so let's pull that rose off of the, oh, is that pretty, wow, and I'm just going to put that rose, look at that, how pretty, that just, that just got even more beautiful with the rose, see any of these other ones want a rose, mm, it's got a flower, Oh, this one must, this one could use a rose. This one could use a rose. Oh, look at the Marcella, they're just little. These are like the, the, the decal is actually like rubber. It even smells like, you know, if you open up a new swimming pool, how it, you know, a kid's wading pool, how do you get that smell? Of rubber, that's what it smells like. Smells good. Yeah, see, that needed that little rose there, and that made it a whole lot prettier. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, I love this book. Oh, I got another book too by Helen Steiner Rice that was sent to me. Um, I'd have to look at the name in it again to see who sent it to me from. This come from a, um, online auction this is where you get really really awesome things at very very awesome prices and the best thing about it is that you're helping out our fellow 
crafters when you buy from their auctions. But that's where I got this one, Hello Sunshine. Every page has got illustrations by Betsy Clark. And I think I can copy these. I'm, I'm going to. And use them in stencils. I mean in pages and stuff. And um, I love the images in this one so much. For ev every evil under the sun, there is a remedy. Or there is none. If there is one, try to find it. If there is none, never mind it. This one says, there is so much bad in the best of us. And so much good in the worst of us. That it doesn't behoove any of us to talk about the rest of us. Isn't that good? There is so much bad in the best of us, and so much good in the worst of us, that it doesn't behoove any of us to talk about the rest of us. I love that. That is good. These are all good. I have already read through most of the book and read them, but these are beautiful. The images are amazing. Betsy Clark. These are amazing. Okay, I want to say God bless you. Hello, sunshine. I say God bless you and may God watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on my next video. Might be later today. You never know. God bless.